visit. Answer your phone, son. This is your boy. Hi everyone, welcome to Live with Barb and Ray. I'm Barb. And I'm Ray. And on today's show, we have some great topics that we're gonna share with you. We're gonna talk about professionalism. There's still a lot of issues out there with professionalism, and we've got some specific examples that we wanna talk with you about. And don't forget, we have to talk about the D-R-E yes. and Starbucks. Oh yeah, we didn't put that in yeah, our notes. We didn't put that okay. in our notes. Um, we're gonna talk about some new forms that just came out. Um, the new forms were just released. We're gonna interview Lori Smith, our professional standards manager, who's really gonna give us a scoop on what's going on at our association with regards to professionalism, ethics, and MLS violations. And then we're gonna have a super fun little video of a real estate ride along. You don't wanna miss that. So let's get right into professionalism. Yeah. Uh, we are beating this home every episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to go, you know how we do John's rants? Yep. I'm going to do Ray's, Ray's rants, rants right now. That works. Um, it's happening more and more where somebody calls me, they want to see one of my listings. Okay. I answer and I say, hi, this is Ray with ABC Real Estate. Yep. How may I help you? And the person on the other side of the phone says, uh, my name's Linda and I want to see your listing at ABC Street today at 2. And so after talking to her for a while, I start to get little hints, and then I, I have to ask her, are you a buyer or are you a realtor? I shouldn't have to ask that question. Mm -mm. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. You need to call and introduce yourself as, my name is Linda with XYZ Real Estate. Absolutely. That's, that's the core of <clears throat> professionalism. You know what's funny? If you missed our PWR Agent Summit that we just had, which was amazing, and if it you was. missed it, you have major FOMO, fear of missing out, yeah. Lee Brown talked about that. Yeah. Lee Brown talked about the importance of when you answer the phone, state your name and your company, and more importantly, when you're calling another agent, hi, this is Barbara from ABC Real Estate, then yeah. you immediately know that I'm a broker, and actually, our code of ethics states that you must identify yourself as an agent or a broker at all times. Yeah. That's in our code of ethics. Yeah. So Very you can't important. walk into an open house and be secret agent and pretend you're not an agent. Yeah. Did you guys know that? You have to walk into an open house and identify yourself as a realtor. You know, we need to be professional out there, people. That's what we do. This is our profession. I almost want to reach through the camera and <laughs> strangle people. Uh, be professional. It starts yeah. with it starts with that phone call and then carries on throughout your day uh, through open house signs. Open house signs, by the way, it's still an issue. I drive around yeah. and I still see them and I just don't understand how the word's not getting out there. Well, Lori might share some words with us today. Yeah. 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 There, our professional standards department is a little tired. They're having report after report after report of advertising violations. And we almost forgot DRE. A big broker <clears throat> in our uh, association let me know something very interesting and everyone that's watching this episode needs to pay attention to this and share this with your friends. A DRE commissioner, um, you know, there's Wayne Bell, who's the commissioner, and then there's local commissioners, went into a Starbucks, a local Starbucks, and found a business card, took that business card, and drove to the broker of record on that business card yeah. to have a chat with the broker about how the business card was in complete violation of all the new advertising guidelines. Now, I don't know exactly what the agent had done wrong on their business card, but I do know that if the DRE is in Starbucks picking up business cards, they're serious. We talked about it in our last episode. They've created a task force for this. They are serious and they do not forgive. They do not warn. They are just acting. So if they're picking up business cards in Starbucks, they might be driving around neighborhoods looking at open house signs. Yeah. They, they could see Facebook ads, right? You do a Facebook ad, you don't know who you're targeting. You're targeting a certain area or demographic, yeah. correct? So be careful out there. You know, that might be a good, um, for one of our next episodes, try to find a local commissioner that we can get in here to This talk broker to. that I spoke to has the person's cell phone number, so yeah. maybe we can get him, I know it was a him, on an yeah. a, a upcoming episode. That'd be kind of cool. So let's talk about um, the new forms. New forms just came out literally just a few days ago. So all the new forms that we talked about in a, in a past episode are out. The Disclosure Advisory, the Buyer Home, the, the Homeowners Association Advisory for Buyers is out. Um, and some changes to the SBSA and the SPQ. But there's a form that came out last year that I don't think enough of us are using, and Ray actually reminded me of it this morning. It's called the AEA, the Amendment of Existing Terms. Now, most of us, when we amend something to the contract, like 
the uh, praise value didn't come in, mm -hmm. right? Appraisal went sideways, and yeah. we have to we're going to reduce the price. So normally you do an amendment that says sales price to be six twenty five. Well, what if the other party isn't agreeing to that? The amendment that we currently use just has a signature. And you send it to the other party, but then it just kind of goes nowhere, and I think right? we all have issues with that. We go, well, we don't want to sign this. It, it, you, sometimes what I do is I put an initial at the bottom as an acknowledgement yeah, to I just say, it. hey, we saw it, but, but we're, we're not, not agreeing to it. it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, what this does is it gives an expiration date, kind of like a counteroffer. It gives an acceptance area, and it gives a rejection of the amendment. So the party that's receiving it can say... I don't agree to these terms. And then a confirmation of acceptance at the bottom that the agents can initial saying that they received it. If you're not using this form, again, guys, CAR does these forms to protect us. Mm -hmm. They protect us as an, as members. This is a great form, and I think everyone should be using it. Absolutely. So that's, my, that's my PSA announcement for the day. Okay. Uh, next, I wanted to talk about the PWR Charity Golf Tournament. Yep. That is coming up in Anaheim Hills, uh, at the Anaheim Hills Golf uh, Course on July 23rd. It's a very fun tournament. Fun. It, it's an amazingly <laughs> fun tournament. And actually, we're going to cut here in a, I don't know at what point in the video, but we're going to cut to a video from a couple years ago that uh, it's, it's, re it's a funny video. It's Tim Shaw. He's our government affairs director, and I was golfing with him and Jeremy Lehman, who is a past president here at our association. And Tim Shaw, if you know Tim, he's pretty mild-mannered, and we were tailgating him. <laughs> Uh, pretty much driving full speed in the golf carts and he kind of looks over his shoulder a couple times and all of a sudden just slams on his brakes. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to go into a uh, our real newer estate section, ride along. A real estate ride along, and we are with the infamous. I'm going to say the infamous, infamous Scott Brady. We're going to just get in a car, put some cameras on, and talk everything real estate related. We hope you enjoy. Wait for our ride. You want like a stretch? What SUV the heck is this? Come on in. Look at the look president bets. I drive a clown car. What's the gas mileage on this thing? There's no gas. I'm glad you asked, Barbara. There is no gas. It's Barb. <laughs> it's Barb. So, so, you know, I think we should go find a listing. Let's go find. Let's a, go find a, a listing. Or a realtor looking for a listing. <laughs> oh look, I see a realtor. <laughs> some, there's some guy. Will work for listings. Work for listing. Well, let's put him in our car if he's gonna work for listings. Work for listings. Let's go. I can't believe we found Schmidi. That's how he gets all his business. Oh, come around to the other side. Oh. <laughs> Is this how you get your business? I know Maybe. you have incredibly creative marketing. <laughs> Guerrilla marketing in the streets. This is how you do it. So Sometimes. how successful is your marketing? This well, you're picking time. me up. <laughs> so if you were a new realtor, just starting out, what would you tell them to do? Well, that's a good question. Um, I would say decide if you really want to be in this industry because it's going to change quite a bit the next 10 to 20 years. And if you want to be in this business 10 to 20 years, you've got to start anticipating change. And so um, be good at what you do. I'm a, I'm a big believer more and more that don't chase dreams. That can be folly. Pick a career and be folly? real. Folly? Folly. What kind of word is that? <laughs> it's an old timey word. Dreams. It's an old timey word. Scott, real estate ride along is supposed to be funny. Okay. That's a very serious answer. But you need to be excellent at what you do. You don't know Justin Timberlake? No, I'm really old. Oh, this is when they uh, dance it. Yeah. Oh. Is that my bones? Come on. I'm a Randy Why am I the only one dancing? I'm a James Taylor kind of guy. That's Why my, am I my the only JT one dancing? Is, is James Taylor, not Justin Timberlake. Why am I the only one dancing? Fine. Very summary. Do you guys need a realtor? Anybody <laughs> need a realtor? Car full of four realtors right here. They're Cream couple. of the crop. <laughs> Cream of the crop. She does not look at you. They seem more to Anybody think more, more like a realtor. I think they think more bottom of the barrel. Oh, she's a, yeah, ah, she, it's a realtor. Yet. She's a realtor. I don't think she's old enough to buy a home. Swing a okay. cat. What is an annoying thing that people do that other agents do when they're showing one of your they listings? They don't leave their card. 
Now, here's the thing. I know that a lot of realtors don't carry a ton of cards anymore because we're in the digital age. But here's the deal. That's how sellers know if you came or not. Yeah. So if your appointment is from 3 to 4 and they come home at like 3.55 or even 4.05 and they don't see a card there, then they're messaging me, did they come or not? Then I've got to go check my lockbox to see if they came. Like, leave a card. I'm gonna, Let me bring up another one. How about one. if you're going to be late? And you have a showing window yes. giving a heads up. How just saying, hey, I'm running 15 minutes late. How decided not to show the property, you call and cancel. Or text message. Hey, not going to show the property. Clients don't like the neighborhood. Okay, fine. But let us know, right? Totally agree. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and with um, technology, most people say, give two hours, tax, they'll give you the thing. There's all kinds of ways to show. But I do find it annoying when realtors say, you can show the property Wednesdays between 1 and 2. And they're, they're doing a disservice to their sellers, not making it easier to show their property. That yeah. seems to be a problem. Sometimes. I agree. You know what? Why don't we talk about some touchy, touchy subject, which is problematic for Scott. Um, what about when agents put a listing in the MLS and there will be no showings until the open house is three weeks from now? Or how about when they do that, but then um, they oh, and show suddenly it themselves went pending. and they show it themselves. Mm -hmm. Ah, so... My seller says no showings, except for the showings that I would like to do. I remember when you first got in the business, you looked about 12. And you were working in an area where you had largely an older clientele. You must have been More scared. Mature. You must have been very nervous the first few listing appointments. Um, just just given that, that You know what? That to be honest, I wasn't. I think it comes down to... I think you're lying. No, I just... They just assume I'm, Ray was their grandchild. He might be a realtor. <laughs> Maybe. Kick your ass. Rev your engine at him. Uh, if I had an Evan there engine, no I, would, I would rev it completely. I, we are sitting on a, a, a phone that moves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's very annoying. See how nice and quiet this is and how noisy that is? You that has know. life and soul, and this is like a piece of plastic. <laughs> you want to race? <laughs> a literal antithesis of your car. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. I told him to rev his engine. He said, I don't have one. <laughs> we'll beat him though. Watch this. Ready? Yeah, check it off. Go! <laughs> It smells it smells awesome. Like a boat. It smells like Victor. It smells like we have just converted dinosaurs to noise. Okay, if you weren't doing real estate, what would you be doing? You know, that's a good question. Come I would, on, if, if rapid I, fire. If I had my druthers, I would probably be. I'd write. I'd write a book. Okay. I would be. Schmitty. Lawyer. Oh. Ray. Contractor. Yeah. What about you, Babs? Teacher. I've got one in my family already. I could argue that you if are a teacher. If I could make the kind of money I make selling real estate, I'd be a teacher. Yeah, they don't, can't. yeah I don't pay that well. Yeah, no. Though, I'll tell you. Don't miss the driveway. This is driveway. the worst driveway oh, in America. Jesus. It's like a death run in here every my time. Gosh. You're afraid you're going to get back. You're driving faster in the parking lot than you did in the circle. There you go. That's I true. I don't eat going on. Thanks for the ride, Scott. You're yeah. welcome, this everybody. This has been a pleasure. All right, always. Honk, honk. See you tomorrow. I'll pick you up same time. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed our first real estate ride along. We're going to do this again. We are going to do it again. Ooh. I think that was a lot of fun and yeah. we look forward to doing it again. It was and a blast. Yep. Right? And now I'm going to hand it over to Madam President <laughs> and just sit here and look You pretty. could be on an episode of Real Estate Ride Along. Yeah. Guys, we have, I think, the most important person in this building. I've said that about a lot of staff members, but this person really <laughs> is the most important person in this building. So we have Lori Smith, our professional standards manager. I want to make sure I get your title correct. Yep. And she's going to talk to us today about um, what y'all are doing out there to drive us crazy in the professional standards department and make Lori have a lot of work. But we want to educate you, use this as an opportunity to educate you on what's really going on um, and what we can do to fix it and exactly what Lori does. So Lori, the number one um, misconception or confusion I think out there is the difference between a full ethics complaint and our red program. Yeah, that's correct, right. So we have, um, you can file a formal ethics complaint and the, the main difference is an ethics complaint goes to a full hearing. The panel can then impose disciplinary action, assign education, do a fine. Uh, but a red complaint is something that you want to solve quickly. Maybe the agent is not turning over the keys, not turning over paperwork. Uh, advertising issues, we can handle that quickly in-house. 
usually the turnaround is usually around 24 to 48 hours. You will hear back from us that the, the problem's been solved or that the agent's at least been notified and that they, we're asking them to take action on it. And then if, if they're not satisfied at that point, they still have the option to file a full we ethics complaint. always have the option to file a formal ethics complaint within 180 days. Perfect. So we've talked. We talked about this earlier today on the show. What are the most common violations you're seeing? What are what are issues in our in our so, industry? Uh, the main issue right now we're seeing is interference of an agency relationship with it with a with an agent. Ooh. I mean that's huge. Um, not returning calls. Not presenting offers. Uh, not responding to an offer at all. If if you receive an offer, um, agents are putting in false telephone numbers in the MLS so that agents don't call wow. or get, wow. can't make contact. So there's a lot of issues going on. Um, advertising, of course, is a main issue right now. I'll be working with the, the DRE on a program that they're implementing. They're actually starting to go out and cite and find directly to the agents. Um, if it becomes apparent that our, our advertising program isn't working well, we will forward it directly to the, to the BRE. And the BRE, you talked about immediate sight and fine. Yes. And we've heard that it's about $2,500. That's what I've heard as well. I'll find that's, out more information on that. That's a lot of money, guys, yeah. for not putting your Huge. company and your license number. Because really, right, correct me if I'm wrong, if on all advertising you have your name, mm -hmm. your license number, correct, your office information, yes. and your broker's identity, whether it be logo or just, you know, ABC Real Estate, you're in compliance, and I don't think that's that difficult. It's not that difficult, no. No, you should also include, if you're an associate or if you're a broker, include that as well, or a realtor member, just include that as well. And it shouldn't be a problem. But it is. But it is. <laughs> but it is. I don't get it either. But it is. So if agents are concerned or have issues with another realtor, the one pushback that I always hear is, I don't want to complain on the other agent. I don't want retaliation. Um, my personal belief is if we don't fix our industry from the inside out, someone else is going to fix it for us. Sure, of course. And it's partially why consumers think the way they do about realtors. So what's your advice to a realtor who's afraid or doesn't want to bring forward a complaint? Well, this agent isn't working with you anyway, so why not go ahead and file the complaint? We've heard, we've heard very little back on any type of retaliation when it's filed. And it's, that's against the code of ethics to retaliate Correct. anyways. Correct. So further action can be taken. Then you can file a complaint against them for retaliation, but it, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Most agents are, are thankful that they've been told they've been doing something wrong. And that's the whole point here also I want to make is we really are trying to educate. It's not about trying to go after somebody. We don't right. want someone to have damages. What we want is someone to learn that they violated either an MLS rule, an advertising rule, or the code of ethics, and right. we want them to correct that behavior, correct? Right. Correct. So a lot of the results that come out of it is education, letter of warning. Letter of warning, education, mm -hmm. maybe a fine, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but the education part is, is important because that, that will teach you what you shouldn't be doing. Absolutely. Well, again, I mentioned she is the smartest person in the building, and I think you understand why. She's very easily accessible, her and her team. You have questions, reach out, get your questions answered. If you think you're doing something wrong and you don't know, Call and ask, right? Okay. Get yourself educated. Take ownership for your own business. So thank you so much for of being course. here today, Lori. We thank appreciate you. you so much. You don't ever want to get a call from her, but we love That's you and okay. we thank you and we appreciate you so much. So as always, thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button down below. No Make dislikes. Make comments down below. Give us feedback. Subscribe to the PWR. Uh, all the videos we do. And again, stay classy out there, PWR.